Dara here, Dara Connolly Garden Care. Uh, today's video I'm going to talk about uh, tree ferns and the pruning of tree ferns. Um, the Latin name of tree, ser tree fern is Dixonia antarctica and um, the common name is the tree fern. Um, <coughs> we use tree ferns in garden to give that kind of lush um, woodlandy kind of feel and atmosphere to a garden and um, they're a real specimen plant within a garden situation. Um, my own garden here, there's one, two, three, four, five, I have six of them um, of different shapes and sizes and I just, uh, I love the kind of look and the uh, atmosphere they bring to the to the garden itself. Um, one of the, uh, the, the, one of the main things with tree ferns is that um, the stem, so you have this upright stem and the stem is formed on last year's fronds. So basically, when we cut this off, this is creating another inch of uh, the, the stem of the tree fern. Um, <clears throat> so that's important. And it's important then when you're pruning the tree fern is not to go in too tight. So if you go in too tight, you reduce the diameter of the stem. So you want to give like four or five inches, 100 mil to 130 mil out from the um out from the actual stem itself and that will just keep the uh, the stem uh, diameter wide and uh, good so as I say if you go in too tight you just get that you get that kind of uh, look to it but you want to just keep it straight and just keep them uh, about as I say 100 mil 130 mil out from the stem when you're pruning them um, <clears throat> a couple of things regarding the pruning of them is there's a couple of uh, theories in it um, I prefer just to harvest them all at this time of year. It's now uh, May 1st. Uh, you could do it a week before or a week after. Um, I just prefer to harvest all the, uh, all the, all the fronds off the, off the fern and then you see the lovely unfurling of the uh, ferns within the next couple of weeks. And literally when you cut them all off, um, it takes, you know, by three weeks time, you will have this lush uh, fern again. And you know, it just opens them out and gives a bit more light into the uh, the rest of the garden when they're cut as well. Um, so that's really the uh, the tree fern. Um, you get them in you know any good nursery or garden centre, and they're generally priced per foot of height. Um, you know, you're kind of looking at sixty euro, sixty to seventy euro per foot in in height of uh, tree fern, and uh, they're just as I say, they're a gorgeous plant. They just bring a great atmosphere to a garden and uh, you know they can do anywhere uh, generally they like shade positions and just as it happens the sun has come out on this one and um, they're they are adaptable so the ones to the side here you can see are uh, they're, they're in more shade but this one does get a bit of bit of sun uh, throughout the day and they just adapt and you can see it's completely and utterly healthy and uh, it's given zero problems over the years and um, you give them a good water I'll show you how to water them at the end um, you know over the throughout the season and they just they just keep on going um, like this time of year again it, there is two theories in pruning them uh, to me they've been overwintered now with, and the uh, the old fronds do protect the, the, the underlying growth from frost and everything else um, and to, to me now they just look a little bit kind of not battered as such but not as fresh as they as they were obviously um, this one here is a small tree fern and uh, this actually came from the nursery with no fronds on it and um, you can just see there the lush growth that's literally come in the last week and it's just lovely uh, fresh growth and it looks great um, <clears throat> so that's that's the uh, that's the idea and like that looks a bit just a little bit shabby now and I'd be happy now just to, uh, to harvest all the ferns off or all the fronds off and uh, just wait for the new growth and um, you can see when you put your hand in when you put your hand into the uh, fern there's just so much growth it, it's kind of that much above the base of the uh, stem and uh, just when I harvest these off now and uh, you'll uh, like within the next week or two they, they will just shoot up and they'll be really lush and fresh and all good so uh, what you need when you're pruning, you need a secateurs, good sharp secateurs, give it a bit of a uh, sharpen beforehand, a bag, and that's pretty much it. And just um, just a little bit of knowledge, and this video will give you that. And um, just, as I say, it's important not to go too tight. 
in. So when you're when you're going in, just as I say, leave that 100 mil, 120 mil out from the main stem, which creates this width here, which is good. So I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to start with this one. I'll show you just pretty quickly. bag put it in your bag gives it nice and neat all right so that's one done doesn't take that long You can see the likes of that one there, like that has been, that was on it, but uh, you know, it's kind of a little bit defoliated and just just a little bit yellow and just not as fresh as it was, but I'm happy just to um, to uh, clear them all off. Um, now, you won't be able to see from the camera, but there's just so much new growth coming there, just about to pop, and that will give it a, uh, that will, next week now that will just be coming through. And um, this one here, same again. There you are. Literally takes not too long at all. Um, and that just opens it up. And again, you can put your hand in and just feel all that fresh growth. There's not as much growth on that one as there is on that one, mind. Um, and then this one here. Same again. You can see the new ferns coming through there. I'm not sure can you see it on camera, but it's literally there. So that just prunes the tree ferns. It gives them, uh, it lets a bit more light into the uh, the rest of the beds. And uh, just we'll wait now for a couple of weeks and we'll get that lovely new growth coming up from the center. Now, watering the tree ferns, just do a quick demonstration. So we have our water butt and watering can. So the logic is to water the base. So we can do, I just give everything a water around it. But tree ferns like the water from the top. Give it a good pour in. So that's kind of indicating the the rain in a rainforest type of thing gives it a good water. You know, cup one or two cans per tree fern. One probably enough. Give it a quick base water, but as I say, they like it from the top. So that's kind of uh, the uh, watering of a tree fern. And as the year goes on, as the season goes on, you could give them a water once or twice a week and get a tree fern feed as well that you can mix in with the water and give it a feed. I'm just empty out the rest of this one here. So that's it. That's pruning the tree ferns. And um, there's another couple there to do, but I'll do them uh, after. But, um, so that's basically it, is to um, just leave that bit of growth out. You know, some people might go, oh my God, what have you done to the tree fern? But it really gives a, uh, it, o it opens out a bit of light. It gives um, the fresh growth just a real chance to burst now. And uh, all the frost is gone, so it's not going to do any harm. So, um, as I say, if you like to leave the, the old ones on, you know, you could try that too and just prune off the broken ones as, as the season goes on. But this just gives it a lush, uh, a lush um, look when, when they, and they, it's great seeing them all uh, grow up within the next week or two. Um, so that's it. Dixonia Antarctica, the, uh, the tree fern. Great plant for any garden. You can get them any, any height and uh, just plant them in and just watch them throughout the year. And they're just, uh, they're, they, they're a great plant. Um, so that's it. Thanks for watching. Dara here, Dara Conley Garden Care. Thank you.